Hey y'all, Steve-O with So Your Wife Wants You To. Today we are fixing a threshold at the bottom of a door. We were watching a dog and the dog was under some stress, I guess. I don't know. We left. The dog tried to destroy a door, basically, is what happened. So let's go take a look and I'll show you what exactly is happening and how we're going to fix it pretty easily. So you can see this is a broken piece of wood. It's not even wood. If you're like me, you bought a house that is made as cheaply as possible and they're selling it to you as expensive as they can to really increase those profit margins. So they do things like use compressed sawdust, basically. But it looks like wood, so it's nice and pretty when you buy the house. Anyway, we're going to tear this out just this little piece and what we bought in this place is actual wood very similar uh, dimensions this is slightly thicker which is okay probably better so you see the dog burrowed underneath the door so a lot of this is already taken out it looks like it's only attached with a few little staples right there you see a staple there staple we're gonna pull those out so I'm just gonna get this piece off and then I'll show you the next step. So one of these dimensions is important. Let me show you something. So we do want we do want it to be the same height. So see how those are the same? That's what we need because you don't want this piece of wood sticking up like you know this high because that will mess it up. Hold on, wife is calling. Okay, we cut this to fit, which is, mine was 32 inches. So the little scrap piece is going in the fire pit. We'll burn that later. Next step is to protect that wood. So we have different stains here. Bombay mahogany. This is a solid color. It's kind of like a mud brown. Probably won't go with that. This one's like a dark gray. Nah, we could go with this one. It's solid too though, I don't know. Or red paint. I think the winner is Bombay Mahogany. But keep in mind if I was a fully functional human, I would go and take that old piece, go to the store and color match it and get the right type of stain. But this is me at 11.30 at night, just needing to get stuff done. And we do what we can with what we have, with the time that we have and the resources we have. So this is how it is for now. I would also be using a staining tool of like a sponge or a brush or even a nice rag, but instead this is all we have, so we're using this paper towel. One thing on this channel, you're going to learn kind of a mix of what not to do, <laughs> um, but also what you can do. And I do these things like this just because I want people to understand that it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you don't have to let perfection get in the way of progress. If you have a job to do and you have limited time or resources to do it, you can still do the job. It's not like you're running electricity where if you take a shortcut, your house burns down. Nothing like that. I mean, this is just, you know, sometimes you have to just do it kind of half-ass. Excuse my French. But you're still getting it done and it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty good. I don't know. That's just kind of how I am. I'm going to do this with two hands and we'll get right back with you. All right, here's the final product. So I think it looks pretty good. And it'll be protected from, you know, elements or whatever. Good enough. Okay. Now we're gonna pre-drill some holes, nail it on in. And I should have known that Whitey was gonna yell at me for pounding at 11.30 p.m. So we're gonna use screws. 
and there we are. It's better than it was. So, you know, you can always take what I do and improve on it, but that's the basics of it all. Catch you in the next video. Get back to work. I'm going to bed.